Alright boys, these two version 200. I did that last video showing you how you could use the sensitivity maybe to judge targets. You know them old clad dimes and silver dimes, you know, they read about the same sometimes. Some worn silver dimes. Mass silver dimes can read like Zinkins. Mask Indian heads. Could read even lower. Six inch deep. Mercury dimes, what you're looking at there, okay? It's down there, trust me. Sensitive FT. Reactivity number one, audio response is four. It's at the default setting. We're at 92 sensitivity, speed one. Full tones. You see that meter reading? There's probably some maskers around this. There's a little iron in here. You don't know how far you, I've got to walk from here to get to a clean place to bury something. Did you see that ID? 87, 84. So you get on that in a while and you're like, hmm, huh. 88 is the highest number I've seen in the meter. Now there's no notch in this machine. Likes to trend 85, 86 most of the time. You get to hear that. I'm not bullshitting you. It's in that meter. Alright. We're going to dial this old sensitivity. We're leaving audio response at 4. Sensitivity at 60. That's all I've changed. Now remember, if you had headphones on, let me get that camera down there. You hear it squeaking? Notice no ID, but you hear it. So we know that ain't no damn two inch, three inch deep single penny, don't we? We know that. It's probably no two inch deep anything. Whoops. Crank the sensitivity back up to, I'll even put it this time back to 90. That's the default setting even. All right, listen. All right, so you got that old 86 and you're in a sight. Well, we know that's a silver dime down there because I buried it. Some of these old schoolyards can have some of them silver reading low on this old JS2, reading like Zinkins and nobody dug them. Back to 60. Now, you can play with this, you know, and now remember, this is the 9-inch call. 60 sensitivity. You hear that little squeaker maybe in that camera? Okay. So, you know, using the lower sensitivity, we're not really wanting to even get an ID. What we want to see is really when you get on that 85 or 6 or whatever, 80, you know, you want it 90, you want to hear that tone go low because that tells you odds are that's an older target. Not necessarily. Has higher chance probably, you know, in ground with any kind of sling rate of being silver versus clad. Or it could be copper. But you hear that. Maybe you hear that in that camera. Okay. We'll dial that old sensitivity back up. There's 92. Monster signal. I'll let you see that later there. You see that? A lot of people swear that's a zinc of penny down there, wouldn't they? But it's not. It's a silver mercury dime about six inches deep. Day is two version 2.00. This is the nine inch call, 11 inch call. This can be done with it too, but you need to look. You know, do your own experiment. Sharpshooter always encourages that. I just try to sometimes point people in the right direction and let them take off. Hope you enjoyed. And naturally that little scrapper has come out of this hole and there it is. You see that? Now I planted this. I didn't find this today. Okay. Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to add this here to the end of this video in case it may help. Explain this a little better. Sensitive F T 6.8 disc silencer one. Sensitivity of 60. 
That's that same mercury dime that was buried. This is the 9 inch called reactivity number one. Same setting as shown in the video prior. One inch over that dime. Two inches. Three inches. Four. Five. Six. That's close to what we heard in that video. Okay. So I'm up there right now. I'm sitting at about seven inches and I don't hear anything much. I can hear just a barely a faint in that external speaker. Okay. So that'd be a good little depth depth gauge for you know, to get rid of some of the, you know, to dodge some of them shallower targets. Now remember, you know, there's always a risk. There can be a good find shallow. I hope you enjoyed.